Welcome to the third episode of the Europe series, and I'm presenting to you Romania. We had a lovely flare from Brussels to Bucharest, and from there we had an Uber, we got to my aunt and uncle's place, and we got to relax, and then in the evening we got to meet up with our grandparents, which was really lovely. We got to have a lovely walk in the park, and the next day we got to see a Romanian blouse exhibit that was actually exhibiting one of my mother's Romanian blouses that she made together. She embroidered it herself. I think you will see it in the following clips and it's really really wonderful and they had a great goal to really talk about global warming and my mom's blouse was really cool because half of it was about bees and how pollinization helps with keeping flowers alive and the other half of the blouse was like if there were no bees in the world so it was a lot more dark colors so it was in the Museu Zeranului Roman that's where it was exhibited and then we went to the Geological Museum and we got to really walk around but it was a warm day This girl down by the vine Had long ten legs and deep brown eyes Seemed the type I would wanna make mine She said, I can tell you're not my type You're Mr. Wrong, I'm Mrs. Right This could never be what you wanna be tonight She said, don't you worry, don't you Got 24 ounces of bum bacon We work it out You don't have to be alone mm-hmm. She said 9 to 5 I'm killing time But 24, 7, 3, 6, 5 I'd have to be where I feel your sign shine On another evening We got to take a walk around the old city with my aunt and uncle and we got to just look at the old building, see the bank, see a hotel that was really cool that was recently opened that was really nicely renovated and just to see the nightlife, the restaurants around, everything was very busy even though it was quite late in the night and it was interesting to see. I think one of my favorite things about Bucharest was this very spot. It was just very refreshing during the daytime and also during the nighttime they had mists and it was just it's really lovely to look at especially during the nighttime because of all the lights and it's just really cool to see everyone gathered around to look at them and they have special nights during the weekend that you will see i think in the next episode where the water actually moves around a lot more spectacularly and they have music playing at the same time so it's really really cool and i can't wait to show it to you guys in the next episode one two two step three step four she's everywhere out on that dance floor she's everything you could ever want and more she said boy these are the terms to play if you hit and day being a bit more gloomy so we decided to go to the national art museum of bucharest and they had lovely art exposed we didn't have that much time because we were supposed to meet up with our grandparents but we got to see quite a few interesting things they had two different pavilions and we got to see two different actually i think three different art expos in both pavilions and it was very very interesting you'll see in the following clips I'm time, but 24, 7, 3, 
This is by far my favorite bookstore of all times that I've ever been to. It's called Karturesht. I mean, look at it. It's majestic. It's elegant. It's it's just a dream come true. They have Romanian books, French books, English books, all kinds of books, and it's just so great. I loved it. And I've we went quite a few times during this trip because my brother and I love reading, and it's just it was really close to where my aunt and uncle lives. So it was a great combination of things. And this was our last evening spent in Bucharest, the city, because my brother and I went on this tour of quite a couple cities around Romania, more in the north, in the Maramures area. And we got to see quite a few beautiful monasteries and some ancient cities and got to eat great food, have beautiful views, and see things that we'd never seen before. So it was quite an experience, and the mountain views were lovely, the greenery, and just to be kind of like in a different area rather than just always in the city, especially compared to Paris and Brussels and Bucharest. This was very different, and I really liked it. She said, I don't need to make this hard. Trust me, boy, I've got these scars If you hit and run, you know that I won't get you far You said, girl, you got it set in stone If you lay the mat, I'll call you home I'll make you mine and you'll never be alone She said, nine to five, I'm killing time During this five-day trip, we not only got to see some historical monasteries or architecture and amazing views, we also got to try out some traditional foods like galushd kuprune, which is like this pastry um, that has prunes inside. We also got to try out kirtush kolac, which is actually a Hungarian pastry. But seeing as we have the border with them, there's there are areas in Romania that are filled with Hungarians and they've shared this delicious food with us and it's absolutely delicious.
this was one of my favorite nights that we had during this um, five day trip. We hung out with two people that were also part of the trip and we just talked about what it was like living in Romania and the cultural differences between Canada and there and we also got to see a beautiful sunset and seeing this old town square was also lovely. <laughs> I think that I really loved about the drives were the amount of sunflower fields that they were. I feel like they just really brightened up the environment and, you know, just like bright yellow patches everywhere. I don't know, I thought it was really cool to see and we got to see many of them and also just the views in general that we got to see, the greenery, the trees, the mountains, everything was spectacular. <laughs> We also got to see a memorial for all of the victims of the communism era and the museum is actually in an old prison so I was really glad we had the opportunity to visit this and learn more about it because my parents have lived through the communism but I don't I didn't know that much about it and having the opportunity to read more and see more of it I think was really important to me and I'm really glad I have that opportunity to be able to know more about it. But damn that girl set me up with her This is probably one of the coolest cemeteries I've ever been in, and you probably don't hear people say that very often, but this place is called Chimitiru Vesel, which translates to the Happy Cemetery. And as you can see, each grave has a very colorful, um, like, wooden decoration, and that decoration on it has a painting of this person that has passed, and also a story of their life. And I think it's really cool because it's kind of like an ode to their life, and to make it more of a happy place and not such a somber and dark you know cemeteries normally are very dark and somber but this place is to bring happiness to life and to enjoy it and i thought that was very cool because i would never been in a place like that and it was very it's a very very um known place in romania my brother and i also wanted to go to a special restaurant on one of the nights because we normally ate at the hotel but we wanted to try out something different that night and we want we went to this place called castel transylvania which is castle transylvania that's the translation and they had a very beautiful view it was a bit on the outskirts of the city and you had a lovely view of the mountains and you could see the sunset and it was a very great evening the weather was perfect the food was really good and i definitely recommend it
just a douchebag I'm so disappointed in myself The look on her face is I hope we go places Some left alone Should have stayed at home And searched how to date on This place was, I think, the most unique place I'd been to because it used to be an old fortress, in a sense. Um, there used to be, as you can see forward over there, one of the barriers where they would open the doors and close the doors. And they also had the barrier, you will see in a few seconds, where are now the walking grounds. And you can see the walls there. I don't think I'd ever been to anywhere similar to that and it was very cool to walk on and everything you can visit now and the weather was lovely also that day so it made everything a lot better and we also got to see a rainbow which was really cool. I could After five days of visiting beautiful cities, eating good food, and seeing amazing architecture and great monasteries, we were back on our way to Bucharest, which I was very excited for because, I mean, five days was kind of long in my opinion, but it was great. I loved the places we got to see and probably would not have had the opportunity to see these places had we not gone on this five-day trip, but it was pretty long. But in Bucharest, my aunt and uncle were waiting for us to have a night out on the terrace, at a terrace, and listen to Direkcia Cinch play while eating good food. Um, Direkcia Cinch won at Eurovision a few years ago, 
I had not heard of them previously, but their music was really good and the food was also really good. So you will see that soon. Yeah, that they leave me. 